Olympics with a Russian on top of the podium at Rhythmic Gymnastics. Lenoy Ashram wins gold. With Lenoy Ashram's gold in Rhythmic Gymnastics, Tokyo 2020 is now by far Israel's best ever Olympics. And the 22-year-old gymnast cannot contain her excitement. It is still unbelievable that I can say that I am an Olympic champion, that I am first place in the Olympics. I think it will take me a while to realize it. There is no one more happy and proud than me to come back with this result. However, her victory was shrouded in controversy. After leading for three rounds, a mistake in her final routine meant that the pre-event favorite, the Russian three-time world champion Dina Averina, only needed 24.15 points to claim gold. Despite a routine that was described as flawless, she only scored 24 points, meaning Israel won gold by a razor-thin margin of 0.15 points. This decision angered the Russian Olympic Committee, who tweeted that the whole world has seen this injustice. The ROC also tweeted a statement from Averina, who said, My conscience is clear. I still believe I won. However, the gold medal winner did not seem too worried with her opponent's response. In the context of Russian gymnastics, I do not look at others nor at their results or what they did. I was focused only on my outcome and what I did and received. I'm less focused on others. Ashram's gold was historic for many reasons. Not only was this the first ever Israeli medal in rhythmic gymnastics and the first time a non-Russian won Olympic gold in rhythmic gymnastics since Ukraine's victory in 1996, but it is Israel's second gold of these games, the most in the country's history. After Artem Dolgopyat's gold in floor gymnastics, as well as bronze medals for the mixed judo team and for Avishag Semberg in taekwondo, Israel finished the games with two golds, two bronzes, and in 39th on the global leaderboard.